What's up, man? YouTube, what's up, man? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 64, man. We had a long two weeks. Did not have a podcast last week because of the tournament. And uh tournament went cool. I hope you guys watched a lot of people play. We're going to talk a lot about people watching people play and uh, pretty much the things involved in that and the things I wish we could change as a community. As, when I say community, I mean us, like us that be in the pockets, us, you know, 200, 300 Madden players, you know what I'm saying? Or guys that's really hooked on this competitive Madden, man. Those are the people that, you know, this is this podcast is for. It is on sub-only chat, man. If you want to get involved, please hit that sub. This week, I had crossed over 100 or, or 1,000 subs on Twitch. Um, you can watch these podcasts live. You can watch me play, man, live, twitch.tv slash dub. All those links are below, man. And, and we do it. We do it all the time. We do. We play Madden for free for a bunch of people to watch. And uh, it's something I'm going to talk about in a little bit. But uh, my games, I will be honest, um, this was a very winnable tournament for me. Um, it was very winnable. I think I was playing really good uh, John Madden football. Um, lost the Rage in a game I thought I should have never lost. Um, should have ne- I, I feel like if I go play that game 10 times, I win 10 of them. Uh, lost that game. But I won't get into that game. Then honestly, um, I I really wasn't the biggest fan of double elimination. I I like the 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 hit it and quit it the one, the one time only type of you know the single elimination. I kind of like that. But at the same time, I, obviously double elimination gives you another chance. You get another breath of life, you know. And um, shout out to little man in the chat with the sub. I appreciate it. Uh, we will talk about the um, people that did advance to the live event, which is going to be two weeks from now, or I guess a week and a half, something like that. But um, so we got the double elimination, and I played uh, Piano Man. If you guys don't know, Piano Man has kind of been around for a long time. Uh, well, since the MCS era, has always been a super sweaty, pretty good player, uh, pretty decent. Um, Knows what he's doing and, and, and really is going to grind out a game. So I know it was going to be a tough game. And um, like I said, I felt like I played in this game versus piano. I played like my best game. I played really well. Was not able to get touchdowns. Was not able to uh, really spread the lead out. Really kind of get a stop, honestly. Um, but I, was say, I did have a blast this last week playing Madden. This was like... I. I don't know. Honestly, personally, uh, I'm not the biggest Club Series fan. I feel like I've expressed that to you guys the most uh, a lot on here. Um, draft champions are, or these online tournaments where everybody plays at the same time. Everybody's locked in. Everybody has their back. Like, I just feel like it's a different vibe. I feel like there's no, you don't really pick who you play. You don't really pick who you get to avoid. You just kind of go out there. You get put in a bracket, and we all play during that week. I feel like it's a different, different attitude. It's a different. Um, it's just a different feeling in the air for the um, for the draft champions. And honestly, I had a lot of fun. Um, and for me, this was probably the most I've, I've lied. I probably went into this tournament probably on about seventy five percent. You know, all in as far as locked in. I played a lot. During the week, I really practiced and tried to get better. I got to thank, obviously, Bugs and Skimbo and uh, Taylor Gang probably played the most. My man Kent actually helped me out, too. Um, so those guys really helped me get better and everything like that. So for me, uh, it definitely was fun. I had a fun week. It was entertaining. I hope you guys enjoyed watching Madden. Uh, I... I like DC. Let's. I mean, well, I don't know if you guys played in the tournament. If you guys watched the tournament, I generally really liked it. I mean, looking back at it after after losing in the DC tournament, and looking back and then playing weekend league, I'm saying to myself, man, DC was pretty good. You know, it was a pretty good experience. I mean, I, I feel like I didn't get cheated. I feel like nobody got any fluky stuff on me. I felt like it was it was a good game mode. No, I really do. I thought everything was pretty fair. Uh, looking back, I thought my team was pretty ass. And we're going to get to that as I get to this last game that I lost. And and, and as we talk about I lost, man, I, I come on here. You guys watch me. 
you guys watch me all the time, man. You guys watch me all the time on the podcast, on, you know, playing man and everything. And I laugh at all you guys. And, and equally, that's one of my biggest goals is to laugh at all you guys, man. And, and, and ultimately, you can't respect somebody that laughs at everybody but never takes the time to laugh at themselves. You know, if, if you are somebody that's going to critique everybody and be in a position to critique everybody, you have to be absolutely able to critique yourself and able to laugh at yourself. And I'm be honest with you guys. I was kind of sick after that game. I was like, there was the most I, I've ever wanted to fight like you guys in my life. Like I say that a lot, but after that pick, I'll be honest that, that, that was, I, I was kind of sick. Like, cause y'all held back no punches. Like there was no punches held back in the chat. And uh, I was kind of hot. I, I, I really felt like, bro, I really felt like y'all were mean. Like, really mean. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like... I felt like, bro, I, I that was one time I really felt like, bro, that I really wanted to... I was hot. I'm gonna be honest. And, and you guys know, I feel like I deal... No, I honestly feel like I deal with the trolls as well as anybody in the world. I deal with people, you know, trolling me as well as anybody. Seriously, I really do. I really do feel like, I, I feel like you guys, at the end of the day, you guys can can give me that, is that I, I deal with people trolling me as well as anybody. Honestly, and I, I, I was actually super hot, dude. I really was, like, for, like, it was, like, a good five minutes I was hot. And, uh, no, I was, like, no. Yeah, exactly. That's how I feel, and that's how, I mean, I was... No, most of the time when my friends lose, I really don't hit them up uh, until they hit me up or I wait a, uh, or I wait like a week. Yeah, Clef was in there. Everybody was just killing me, bro. And I felt like, bro, and I really was like, I was hot for a minute. I turned off the stream, but then I went into the Discord and I talked to Bugs and User and, and they killed me and it was good. I had to like, now I had to talk about it. I had to go talk to my friends about it. I had to let them kill me and like laugh about it you know i had to i couldn't like disappear like i'm my whole thing man if i like don't talk about it if i disappear if i just stay to myself that's when like the, the depression kicks in but literally i turn the stream off i go over click on the discord and i go talk to bugs and trey and uh user and just i just laughed it off really man that, that's the best way for me to do it uh, j rock yeah exactly bro that's how it is man Everybody, they was being mean. I'm be, I'm be honest, bro. It was being mean, but exactly, Buster. That's how I feel, man. But like I said, it, it's I deal with the trolls as well as anybody. I didn't kill you guys. Nobody will ever get banned. But let's get to this game. I'm I'm gonna go, and you guys can kill me again if you want. YouTube, you guys can kill me again if you guys want to as well. Um. This game, uh, I felt like I played a great game this game. Um, I did not score touchdowns. I, I, at the point I'm looking right now, I have 16 points. So that equals nine field goals. That's a lot of field goal opportunities for the team, honestly. I'm saying I feel like that's a lot of field goals for the team. But essentially, he got the ball back with, as we're looking here, he gets the ball. Let me see. Can I put my brow, get the chat back in here? There goes the chat. All right. So he, like, listen. Honestly, so he gets the ball back right here. Boom. I will tell you that uh, there's a minute left. He needs a touchdown. One of my biggest flaws with my team and that I, I really began to hate, you know, began to hate was that my secondary sucked. I had Marlon Humphrey was my best corner. I had Apke. I had to play him at corner just because he was my second fastest player. I have Abram, who, who Abram was kind of a goon. But his zone coverage is really low, like 75, bro. It really was bad. And then I had Dawkins. Who Dawkins, as you guys, if you guys watch these games, I piped him up. He made some plays for me. I can't get mad at him. But at the end of the day, he was 88 speed. Uh, and he's six foot tall, which isn't the worst height. But 88 speed is brutal. So this was the weakness of my team. You know, and in this situation, 
he's going to hit a streak down the middle of the field with no other, like not a streak outside, not a corner route, not corner routes, literally just a streak down the middle, you know, and uh, for me, this was the big, honestly, I'm not mad at this, at this, I'm not, I don't want to say I'm mad at this play, Chet, you guys can tell me, but I feel like if I have a Palomalu or an Ed Reed, yeah, but I'm saying, of course I ran cover two. But this is my point. I carry him down the field. Boom. I feel like a little bit faster safety makes that play. Am I tripping? Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe that was just a beamer. Maybe that was a beamer. Uh, I just, I, I feel like if I got a 90 speed safety, he makes a play right there. But that's neither here nor there. That doesn't matter because as a Madden player, if you need a field goal and you have 50 seconds, right? You have 50 seconds. That's all, that's all I'm saying, Kerry, is that I feel like a faster safety makes a play there. Dawkins did make tons of plays throughout the tournament. He really did. I, yeah, I wasn't going to run there. I wasn't going to run all the way down the field with Bush. I really, I mean, if you got, I, that's, I wasn't going to run all the way down the field with Bush. I carried him so he couldn't just seam streak me. Then I came down on the crosser. But I could see if there was two corner routes and they opened up the safeties. But for, for I just feel like there's no way, like, that Dawkins doesn't play this, you know? I just feel like if he's a little bit faster, if he's a little bit faster, he makes that play. I, and like I said, that's a great throw. Andre Reed is 92 speed. Great throw right there. But anyway, doesn't matter. Because I have 51 seconds and three timeouts to get a field goal. But I will say I probably could have played better defense there. And uh, sometimes defense lets you down. You know, and, and right there, they kind of let me down. And I ultimately, I got to know who my players are and not put them in position uh, to uh, really do that. Uh, Posey, I, honestly, the, the pass kind of surprised me. I didn't think he would just try to throw that with no... Like, there's a play in the game earlier where he tried to put two streaks, like a streak in the middle, streak on the outside. I was more prepared to click on and pick it off. Uh, for me, so that pass did kind of surprise me that he would try to just throw a streak right up the middle like that. Uh, it was a good play, so maybe my click on was a little bit late. And right here, as you notice, look, I come out in a play. I want to run this play because I look, I have 50 seconds, no timeouts. I need a chunk play. I have not run this Trey Y flex all game at all, right? And I call the dagger play, and what happens is. He, he's going to pause the game right here. And what does that mean is that he's setting up a new defense and he's doing his positional subs for a new defense. He's been running nickel normal the whole game. So right now I already know that he's either coming out in 3-4 or some type of 2-3-6 or some type of dollar. He is not going to come out in nickel normal again. I already know that. And I'm telling you, all I'm going to do is snap the shit out this ball and try to hit Deshaun Jackson. If I get this, I get a 20-yard play. Snap the hell out of the ball. He's on Vita Vea. He drops back, allows me to step up. And I can hit this pass over here to D Jack. Boom. Touchdown. D Jack was my best route runner. Call a timeout. You know what I'm saying? No, this is a piano man. Piano man. So I call that timeout and I had never play. I have 44 seconds. I after I catch that pass, I feel really, really good. I feel really good. Right? Let's play. I'm gonna do the same thing. I call a timeout. Deshaun Jackson's healthy. We're gonna quick snap this again. He's actually on the corner. He drops back. Let me hit my man McCaffrey. Just I, that was just a shitty. As I look back, that was a shitty, 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 shitty run right there. Honestly, I really thought it was. I feel like I could have got more yards on that. Maybe if I just spin instantly, I can I can get that. If I spin instantly right there, I went for a juke uh, trying to catch that. Maybe if I just spin instantly, I can get some more yards on that. But I'm closing on field goal range. I really am. I called another timeout. I have third. I have 37 seconds left. I have all the time in the world. You know? So we're going back to the doubles. Maybe mixing the inside zone. My run game is ass. And I, I feel like, Chad, if you guys have watched me play, my run game is ass. It really is. I, I, and I, Because I suck. I'm not good at it. I don't do it enough. I'm really not good at running the ball. I, I've come to a huge conclusion in this game that I'm not good at running the ball. I'm not. I'll just go here with a little drag over here. To D Jack. That's a beautiful play by me. I thought. Beautiful pocket presence. Let me look at that again, man. I just I honestly I felt like I played such a good game this game. Boom. Laser. Right? 
Now, I want to see what, what defense he plays. I go and spike it so I save my timeout. This, again, I feel like this is just two men under. Am I tripping with some zones? That's exactly what it is to me. Two hard flats. Two men under with two hard flats. Boom. I thought that was a great play. I spiked, so I saved my timeout. I could have get I could have called my timeout to save more time. I don't know. But so then I had this is the play of the game. Bro, he has run, honestly. I personally do not know if my, and this is the first mistake, chat. I don't know if my kicker can make this. I don't know what the wind is. These are my first mistakes. And all of this stuff uh is just just uh I don't I don't know what the word is. Just ill prepared or just not locking in the right way not not remembering shit but honestly for me for me um i feel like all of this goes with just not being super locked in i definitely had kicked three field goals for nine points uh and honestly it's something i should remember and it's a flaw as a man player and it's, it's not about making reads it's not about um having stick it's not about having good defense. It's really just the little shit that you got to try to remember. And for me, uh, I'm assuming that I cannot make this field goal. Also, I'm assuming that I kicked three field goals, all of which were laggy, all of which were not perfect. I did not like my field goals. Also, I do not want to kick a field goal in this situation. No, I do not want to kick a 55-yard ice field goal to win the game. I don't. Also, in this situation, I will never run the ball. Unless it's like, I, I don't know how to explain it, especially when he has a timeout to ice me. If I lose a yard, it's GG's. Uh, even, I don't think there's any run in the game that will guarantee you one yard. I really don't. I really don't think, I, I really don't think there, there's one. You know what I'm saying, Chad? What would you guys think? The one run that can guarantee you one yard. Uh, and honestly, I, I don't think one yard would have did it. No, no, I don't think. But inside zone, I, no, inside zone, I haven't been getting any yards really on inside zone, to be honest. So for me, and for me, if he blows up inside zone, I lost. That's my point. If he blows up the run, the game is over. It's going to be 10 seconds and I have no timeouts. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, but prob I'm telling you, I, it's, it's, it's what I've been doing the whole game. It's like it's like it's not that it's not that it was getting popped. It wasn't terrible. It's not that it was getting popped. It just wasn't good enough for me to rely on, especially in this situation. Yeah, especially in this situation where I rely, I rely on, uh, I rely on what you call it. I, I I'm just relying on the run, and for me, uh, to call inside zone there was pretty obvious. But and I'll ask you guys this. I'll ask you guys this, is that, one, uh, Chris McCaffrey should have been in the game. I guess he was tired. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? But anyway, i ask you guys this. What are you thinking on defense here? Now, this is a man that literally has been running two man under pretty much the whole game. He has really good corners. I know he has Tillman in the slot. He has a couple other guys. What are you thinking on defense? On defense, you can't give up the run. On defense, you can't, you can't give up anything short. You really can't give up shit, honestly. So for me, uh, I'm going to pass because I do not rely on a run. I, I, do, I cannot rely on a run. If I would have relied on a run and uh, lost yards here, I, I honestly would, I, I wouldn't be screaming right. We, we, we'd be done with man for life. I can never rely on a run to get me a yard. So uh, I, I never would think somebody would run commit. And part of that is a flaws man player because I would never run commit in this situation. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I'd ever run commit. I feel like run commit has been such a just a bad thing to do i don't know just like i feel like it's not been a part of competitive madden for like two years now you know yeah that's what i'm thinking i would never run me personally as a player i would never run commit especially because i feel like in shotgun i can blow up the inside zone for a loss of yards i can blow up you know what i'm saying okay we're sending the crib this is what i would have think and I, honestly, I might have been able to hit this field goal, but I do feel like if the win was against me, I wasn't making this field goal. And so I'm thinking we're going to go something short. Passing-wise, we are, you guys see me audible, I go to the PA read and have two short routes. 
Uh, listen, this is what I saw that, that ruined the play for me. One million percent ruined the play for me. Literally, the kid's been running two man under the whole game. I see him use it as safety instead of one of the linebackers, and that's what changed my, my thoughts. Once he did that, once he took this safety down here and I said he's on him, so I'm thinking I have man coverage right here. He's going to do everything he can to shoot down here with the extra safety to stop the run, right? That's why you use it as safety, away from the inside zone. That is what I'm thinking. He is going to take this safety and be an absolute asshole to try to stop underneath shit and try to stop the run, thus leaving my 95 speed and 94 speed dudes on islands. That is what I'm thinking. And I say I have not thrown the ball deep all game. I am going to put Hester on a streak up the middle of the field. He is going to fall asleep on this. Because in, in, in man-to-man, I like Hester on this guy for a touchdown. That's all I'm thinking. Because he's going. I figure he's going to put a bunch of short zones, shade underneath, play real aggressive underneath here. And I'll be honest with you guys, Chet, I want a touchdown. I don't want to kick a field goal. I don't. Man, between me and you, I don't want to kick a field goal. So then I motion this guy over. I put him on a whip route. Another thing about my team that sucked, these dudes are fast, but none of these dudes can run fucking routes. So I put him on a whip route. He runs with him. I have this. This is, he's not, look at his lineup. Bro, I am salivating at Devin Hester right here. I think he's using this safety. He is going to not give a fuck about a 40-yard bomb in this situation of the game. There is no chance that he lurks this streak route instead of all these underneath routes. Um, and also, I feel like he's playing the run. So his user from the snap is going to already be right here. There is no way in hell in this situation he plays this streak. That is 1 million percent what is going through my head. 1 million percent. Never thought about a run commit. Because obviously, if I was prepared for a run commit, I'd just snap throw to X. So what I'm thinking is this is man coverage. When the play happens, boom. My initial, when I first read a play... The box is pretty much what I look at, right, chat? That's pretty much what I look at. Boom. The box. Right? He, I see he's blitzing six. I don't even look at this side of the field. Don't even look at it. My interaction is 1 million percent with these three people. And this, is, this, this goes to the fact that I did not expect the run commit. If it's just inside, these guys are kind of bagged by just man coverage. I got to wait to go to post. And also, if it's just the blitz, he's going to lurk over here. That's what I'm thinking. He is not going to stay on this streak. There is no way a fucking psycho stays on this streak. There's no way. Especially when you cannot give up a fucking yard. Cannot give up a yard. He's going to guard a 40-yard streak. And if you look initially at the play, my eyes are here, right? My eyes are here. Does Charles Tillman run commit, chat? Does he run commit? How the fuck is everybody but him run committing? Seriously. This is one million, like, literally, cover this side of the fucking screen. This is what I'm looking at. But my point is, he would have one million percent been open if he leaves the user. There's no way he's running with Hester down the field. And I would have took that shot. There's no way. So this is the flaw in the play is that I never really looked to the left of the field. And, and this is what crazy, and this is what's crazy is that because he's manned up, right? Because the initial half second of the play, he's manned up. I, that makes it even more of a reason for him to stop fucking guarding him. If he would have blitzed and ran commit right away, I would have thought, damn, maybe, like, now honestly, maybe, um, what you gonna call it? Maybe, maybe he's going to, uh, maybe he's going to cover him. If he was wide open, maybe he would, he would have covered him. But he was covered from the initial snap of the ball. Right, Chet? He's fucking covered. He's covered. Why would you keep running with him? So then the play breaks down, and he still runs with him. And for some reason, he like, he, he sends him on a blitz. I guess he clicks in his right stick. So now he blitzes. So at this point, I'm locked in on this one. I'll be real. I don't know why the hell. If you run commit and you can't give up a yard, that you still guard this guy. To me, that is fucking insane, bro. 
And so now I'm locked in. I feel like, and mentally in my head, these route combos, by the time, if, if it wasn't a run commit, let's remove that as not a run commit. Because that was never in my head till after the play. If it's not a run commit, I feel like these routes are kind of my, by the time I get back to them, they're kind of already broken down. Like, a, it's kind of not a throw. And then he does, he does lurk me a little bit, man. He lurks me. But then, but then, what the fuck? Like, bro. Like, I, at the point, how, bro, I feel like I still had him. How does he beat me to this fucking football? Like, bro. Eight fucking speed. Eight speed. Bro, he ran commit. Everybody else was open. Did I not tell you we were not even looking at it? Bro, he smoked me. I dang, I wanted to bump him, and I thought I'd be fast enough to, to rack that bitch. Bro, y'all, y'all, y'all really just did not listen to shit I say. I'm never, I'm literally. It's like y'all don't. It's like y'all really. I'm done. I'm done. Y'all didn't really shit I said. I did make my mind up before the play started. I anticipated, and I did not react that well. Yeah, the streak was getting thrown. Cause I feel like every, I feel like every, every single, every single read that I made before the snap, like I feel like every read I made before the snap said that streak was gonna be open. That's all. That's every single read, every single pre-snap read I made told me that that streak was gonna be open. That's it. That's how I felt. The Hester jersey made it worse, bro. Made it worse. Made it worse. Never again. I'm, I really want to burn that shit on stream. Really. I'm just telling y'all why why that was why I wanted that's what I wanted what what I went to in the entire time where. I'm not telling y'all I'm open minded. I'm telling you motherfuckers that is why I that like I'm telling you what went through my mind, bro. Hey, I thought I'd be fast enough, Trey. I thought I'd be fast enough to bump him and, and rack egg it, honestly. That's what I thought. You know? I might burn the jersey. It might happen. It might happen. That's I'm just telling y'all why why what I was thinking. That's all. But I really did not think you would run commit. And that between the two biggest things is not knowing where I could kick the ball. Like not knowing where I could kick the where I could kick the ball from, and also not being prepared for a run commit, bro. Honestly, that's those were the two things that really uh. I feel like nickel normal kills inside zone. I wasn't gonna run inside zone at all. Yeah, I didn't. Honestly, I did not expect the run commit. I, I really didn't. And then for him to stay on that streak the whole. My man cannot give up a fucking yard. He can't give up a slant, a drag, a zig, a hitch, a run, a post. He can't give a, a catch. He cannot give anything. He can't give up shit. You know what I'm saying? He can't go, and he just guard the streak. So, good play. I mean, the run commit was psycho. I really, I, I did not expect it. And that's my fault. It really is 1 million percent my fault. Just not, not being fully prepared was the problem, man. Why I ain't throw the other streak? I'm in the uh the movement discord. Dak is the goal. Like what, Hancho, bro? Thanks for yo. Take ten minutes to think about yourself, bro. Yo. What's the word? W. I know you ain't. I know you ain't going. You. You ain't gonna have all these excuses for this throw. I'm not having no excuses. I'm listen. 
I thought I thought it'd be open, bro. I thought I had. I thought I, I thought I broke down my mindset very well, bro. Here's a question: well, How? When was he on his safety? Before At the play. what point in this game? Before the play, he was uh, never, was this... never, never. No, no, no. He never was on his safety never, the whole game. Never. You know that's the that's the easiest way to tell run commit. I just would you know never. I just never would ever think a run commit ever in my life. I feel like that's like the number one tell for all players. I feel like when, they're playing when linebacker you, all game and then they're on safety and in, in like weird spots. I feel like for me that was I'm playing two man under and I'm just going to take this guy and go lurk the first the first read that you get or some type of blitz or something like that. That's what I think. I never would think run commit. And then when I showed it, his slot corner did not run commit. He kept running for the first ten yards. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, so it's he like was gonna run, he was going to run the whole time. It, so for he only me, came down because he sent. He sent. I don't know why he sent. Again, that shit was dumb too. He sent the spy, or he, he just clicked the right stick, dude. Yeah. yeah. So that's the first person I looked at on the play was what his user was doing and what that corner was doing, and they didn't run commit. So my first read is not. Oh, it's a run commit because he's still running in man coverage. So uh, the first thing I say is there's if you got man coverage, there is no way you run and double the streak in that situation. There's no way. I don't know. But like I said, yeah. I didn't know where I could kick the ball from, and I did not expect the run commit. That's all. If I expect yeah, one of those probably, two things. Yeah, I mean, I didn't. If I was playing that game, I probably would assume it was just weird pre-snap seeing that. But I don't know. I probably I probably don't even notice it. I ain't going to lie. I noticed it. I'm probably coming out snapping. I'm snapping inside zone. I ain't going to lie to you. Brother, <laughs> and my run, my, I'm ass. I can't <laughs> run. I really can't. Like, the whole tournament, I tried to run. And bro, it's just, it, just, it just don't work. We get one yard, we get you two running yards. Under, under center against them? I tried to go uh I'll tell you a lot of these scumbags, bro. So I streamed the game. I played Rage in the in the in the regular tournament or in the winners board the, to the first tournament. So I played it for I play a game, yeah. right? Win the game. All right. As soon as I win the game, here go Rage in my chat. Matter of fact, fourth quarter. W you ready? He ready to play me. I come out that motherfucker. He run committing. He shooting every gap of every little run that I did. I yeah, was sick, bro. This. Like you know. what? Like every audible down he ran commit. He's tackling my running back in the backfield for loss of five. I'm like, bro. Like I'm a second and fifteen every drive. It's like Jesus Christ. So for me, uh, yeah. the run, the run was. I almost felt like the run was kind of giving me a bad spot. And then for me to run that. To run the ball there, it's a, it's all up to that one run. And then like, what's my like like if I don't get it, the game's over pretty much. I'm like I can't do anything else but throw something to the sideline. So it's, it's just tough to rely on one run for me when it wasn't really yeah. popping that much, to be honest. So that's why I didn't. I, yeah, wouldn't run right I mean, once that play call happened, I mean, you sent out yeah the whip route, dig route, and the post. I, I feel like I had I had yeah. great routes, but once I saw him using that safety, I there's no way he just plays a deep half with his with his user. There's no way. <laughs> but he did. Yeah. But God bless. And then at the same time, I th- at the time I thought David has to be he's fast enough, and he wasn't fast enough. But yeah, the shit, the the pass lead thing is a bit bad too. If you go pass lead like to the, the right corner, I don't think he gets there. Nah, I, I tried to put that bitch. To you know the what I mean? Like yeah. he, you can only throw it so far. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. All right, I'm running. Fuck it, I'm running. Uh, you know what? You know what this play reminds me of when you threw this. What's that? <laughs> oh, Jimmy Graham. My, my throw against you. <laughs> yeah, well, you had nothing else to throw. The difference is you had nothing else to throw. I could I could have hit any hey, other button. It, and bro. Eyeball it. Eyeball it. No, but I. Eyeball but it. the difference is that I could have hit any other button. You couldn't throw any other button. That, like, bro, that's the difference. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But for sure. Now that you are here, I do want to talk about the sub streams and the tournaments and all these things because it was something I was going to talk about. I didn't even know you were going to be on here. But oh yeah, I'm bullshitting right now. What's up? That's how I feel about the substrate because I feel like I was the only person that that did that and a couple other people. But for me, I feel like I feel like ultimately we we decide the market for this competitive Madden thing, you know. And, and we stream Madden um, all day, you know, every day for free for you know hundreds of people to watch us play Madden. Also, the streaming put it one million percent downgrades your chances of winning a DC tournament. One million percent. It's worse than any other mode. Like I said, yeah. Rage knew all my plays, knew all my playbooks. They knew the players I drafted. They knew my backups. Mm. They knew absolutely everything about what I wanted to do. Everything. Right? And so for us 
and, and, and for us to not put a price on watching eight games a year, you know, I think ultimately we set the value of what it's worth. You know what I'm saying? And if, if we value it more, it's going to make other people value it. And honestly, for me, if these people that want to watch these games, which are amazing games, right? If they want to watch them, if they, if they don't want to spend $5 in support, then they really don't want to watch them that bad. That's kind of how I feel about it. And I feel like if we do it together and say, you know, this is something that we value at X amount, then there's really, uh, then ultimately, you know, that that is what dictates the market and what, uh, you know, makes this a higher value than what it's been, honestly. And I want to know how you feel about it and, and why you chose to do it for everybody. Yeah, I mean, I, honestly, I just feel like um, there's always people out there that are going to support you that, that you, you see people in your stream that watch you, that come in your stream every day. Mm -hmm. They may not sub every time. Like, they, they may, you know, their sub badge disappears. Takes them a little bit to resub or they get gifted a sub. So, and then a lot of them are, are like, people that watch us are younger. So, you know, they may not have a credit card or whatever. I mean, they may not have $5 or sub. So, letting them watch, um, I feel like your most important games, like, they're going to watch you play tournaments. Those are the same people that are going to root for you in the EA streams. Mm -hmm. I blocked them from rooting you, root, rooting for you from, um, what's it called? Uh, your online elimination games. Um, and then it's like, I still feel some people are going to sub regardless like of you just still doing it. Maybe, I mean, clearly not as many. Mm -hmm. But the people that sub to you, you know, uh, I, I, I also feel like if you do it that way, like you may lose some people, you know, um, that may rock with you. Oh, this dude. Like I, I know uh, on Twitch it's been like a little touchy subject. Like some people believe like sub streams are a good thing. Some feel bad. Me, I mean, I I haven't tested it. You know what I mean? I feel like why not let everybody watch at this point? I don't feel like our I don't feel like we we are a big enough. I don't feel like my brand is big enough for sure. Like I was speaking for myself, like to where I'm like taking people that away from watching. Like for instance, that game, that last game against K-Mac, mm -hmm. um, there was like 2,500 people in there. Like, yes, and I feel like that, that some game followers and yeah, yeah. Um, mm, go ahead. I just, I just feel like that game. Uh, if you're a fan of Madden, you should, uh, you should be able to pay five dollars to one of the other person to watch the game. You know, and I think yeah. I think how is the is it going to grow if we don't put our foot down and say this is worth X amount of money. This is worth five dollars. You know, and on top of that, you know, if we're all three of us around a thousand subs, that's a thousand people that that rock with you regardless. That and and people that rock with you when you're playing Fortnite. So ultimately, you have to remember that these streams are essentially for those guys. You know what I'm saying? That are there regardless, and those guys <laughs> get to watch it. You know, the other people are cool. But, I mean, at the end of the day, if you want to come in here, like you said, 2,500 people watching. So, you have 1,500 people or something. That's not normally there in a regular stream. You know what I'm saying? So, all of a sudden, you want to watch now. It's like, bro, I feel like we can elevate the value of the product. And we dictate what it's worth. And at the end of the day, we can never short short sell, you know, how great we are at Madden, honestly. And, and, and with you're in that tournament, then for me, it's like you are a top 100 Madden player in the whole world. You know, you are playing a $5,000 game of Madden. And if people don't want to spend $5 to support the guys that are, you know, downgrading their chances of winning said $5,000 game, then, I mean, do they really want to watch competitive Madden, honestly? that That's pretty much how I feel. And, and I think, and, and to your point about, you know, there's people that rock with you that can't afford 1 million percent. I agree with that. But at the same time, you know those people. Like, I know those people that are in here all the time. You know what I'm saying not necessarily, man. There's a so? lot of lurkers. Okay, well then, the, lurk. but the lurkers, you know I mean? the lurkers, why, then, then why can't a lurker say, "What's up? How are you?" For for you know the, the two, three, five, six years we've been streaming, why can't why don't Listen, I have no, a like, relationship lurkers, with them? Lurkers make up like majority of your chat. One hundred percent. But you know but I mean? are those the guys? So if majority of your chat is lurking, and then you block them from watching, it's like, oh, I mean, you know, uh, what's the problem with that? You still get paid from ad revenue? Not nothing you still like get them to come back. And, and, and like I said, you may lose. You want to so say majority of those dudes that are lurking, they're watching. 
You put it in sub only, they feel some type of way. I don't know, you lose whatever percentage. You still, I mean, that's still money you lose on the back end from, from them watching ads. I them, see. You know, maybe they do sub at some point, you know what I mean? You don't, it's hard to tell who's subbing, you know what I mean, too? That's another thing. I mean, for me. It's hard to tell, uh, like, how much does this guy type? How much is, does this guy a lurker? Like, there's no way to really tell. I, I just feel but, like you know the people that, that's really rocking with you and is a fan of you and is enjoys your stream and enjoys your content and, you know, like, <clears> legitimately <throat> supports you because you talk to them. You know who they are. That's how I feel. And, and ultimately, if that person said, I can't sub, that's somebody you can either mod up and because mods can watch it or you could just gift them a sub. That's how I feel about it. I feel like the person lurking in the shadows, like, and, and honestly, that's how I feel. If someone that lurks in the shadows every man stream, I put it on sub only for the biggest games of the year, you know, four or five games, nothing crazy. For the After I watch people, after I allow people to watch me play Madden for free, for hundreds of games, I put it on sub only for five games, that person leaves, then was that person really rocking with me at all? That That's pretty much how I feel about it. I'm saying and I feel like we like I said we control the value of our content and this and, and we have I feel like we have to value it more honestly yeah I hear that <coughs> I also feel like um you know Madden on Twitch isn't as as um popular as you know some of the other games that I feel like they don't even they don't do that you know what I mean like games that are even a little bigger like does Call of Duty they do that to their stream where they put it in sub only. I, I haven't seen that. You know I, what I mean? And, and, and I don't Fortnite know. Fortnite dudes playing in, in these, you know, Winter Royale and yada, yada, yada. They don't do sub only. So it's like. Yeah, I feel like. I, don't I feel like. I, I feel, feel like our like game is different. blocking off people. Our game is different. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. different. It's. I think it's It's one million percent a, 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 just such a detriment for you to win the game. That honestly, it's it's one million percent stupid to stream Madden games, especially DC tournament games. It is, it's terrible, you know. I, and, and I think you know, and people want oh, do it for the culture, do it for this, do it for that. You know, I feel like if people want to watch it that bad, it's worth five dollars, especially for for you know the five ten people that actually streamed the games. That that's how I feel about it. You know. Yeah. Now, if that's everybody it, I streaming, don't, I don't even think more. that you're in the wrong. I don't think you're wrong. I don't think I, I don't necessarily feel like I'm wrong. I feel like. Yeah, Shit, if anything, you proved that you, you know, gained. You said there's a couple hundred people that subbed to you. So. Oh, yeah, I probably went from 700 subs to, to 950 subs. And, you know what I'm saying? So, for me, that was a lot. Yeah, know, yeah, and, that's, I mean, that's definitely a... Uh, you know, and, and like I said, I sat there and watched, number. and I watched, the, I watched you guys stream, and you guys streamed the biggest games of y'all year. You know what I'm saying? It, been, it was a great game. And I go, shoot, I don't know. I just feel like we, no, we I, don't, dictate. I don't feel like that's. I, I don't feel like, <clears throat> like I said, if if it's, shit, you're proving you're proving that your side is, you know, uh, financially it worked out. You know what I mean? So now ultimately, if, <coughs> if we all do it, it's like, I'm saying, then the value of the games go up that much more. You know what I'm saying, and then, then they can't really, it's really nowhere to go. You know, I feel like. Every, I feel like every streamer, even if, you know, your brand is not that good, if you're playing a $5,000 game of Madden, I mean, I, I feel like it's worth supporting somebody that's streaming that. That's how I feel. Gotcha. And if the people that don't want to do that, do they really want to watch competitive Madden? Is it really that big of a passion for them, honestly? I feel. But we'll see. Gotcha. Yeah, I see, you. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Well, like I said, that's what they're talking about. What are y'all, what are y'all thoughts on it? What, what do y'all think? Hmm. My man, that dude that with the dude. sub, that dude six oh two. I did one million percent cannot make more money. Open, you can't make more money. Well, it would opened up. I'm sure, you can make more money op making it open. Because, because like, you gonna get off. You gonna get off. S Three minutes of ads or six ads after the game you know i just feel like i don't no, know but you so <clears throat> you may gain you know a couple hundred followers maybe they watch later down the road that's, that's what i'm saying sure. there's no way to calculate like say all right so say you you're in sub only how many people are watching no i probably have 400 500 people in sub only 400 400 500 if it wasn't sub only let's just let's just assume there was 1500 mm-hmm I run one block of ads. That's as a fast thousand as I can. people. 
Huh? I'll run one block of ads as fast as I can when the game's over, when it lose. You know that 180 second jump, boom. All right. Okay. Ain't nobody watching that. Yeah. You don't stream, so you don't understand this talk. Yeah, like you, you, don't, you, know, you, don't, you know, ain't got no choice. You ain't got no choice. Keep it there. Keep it there, Noah. Until you get that little check mark next to your name. Don't talk about no ass. Anyways, so let's just say you had a thousand more people. Yep. You get you convert, you know, let's just say 30% of those dudes fall, 300. And they come back to your shame. You don't know how many ads are going to watch down the road. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you you can, you 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 will potentially make money from them. And maybe they sub down the road, too. Yeah. Well, so I mean, like, I wish there was a way to calculate it, you know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> there's really not, so. I, I just feel, I just feel this about all 200, 200 plus subs is good though. Yeah, but this, to me, it's like you guys, you know this that ultimately streaming is about the grind and the commitment and the, doing it. Really, you're never going to make a stream off of one tournament. You know that's and that's for the, the you know, not for us, but for you know the smaller streamers and stuff. One tournament is not going to make one stream in one game and having a thousand people in there for one hour is never going to make your stream you know super popping. It's really about the consistently consistency honestly and that's a and that's pretty much what makes a stream grow and that's what helps you gain those followers all the time that you're talking about but yeah mm -hmm. i just i just feel like it's, i just feel like it's worth it and, and you know for for people to pay five dollars to watch some of the biggest games in the world you know as much as they want people to stream and they want people to you know really uh stream these games and really put their and put a handicap on them winning these games then honestly, should definitely uh, pay five dollars right. to see it. That's how I, I agree, feel JD. It. What you saying about they need to pay? To that, man, even like I that swear should, to God, man, thing. seventeen. It was sure. like we'll give you a bundle. We'll give you a hundred dollars worth of yeah, much yeah. shit or something. I feel like they could make how dudes be doing little red zone channels. I feel like why couldn't they do that? You know? Yeah. yeah. You know, like let's we're gonna go I live here for that, five. They... I, they had they done it before. Madden seventeen, they did it. Gibbs and Farrells one million percent did that. One million yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember. I remember. And listen, there's no reason. There's no reason with them their ability with drops. There's no reason, at the very minimum, drop should be active in your channel when you're streaming a tournament game. This is yeah. That no they reason. can do that too. The same way that they, when they're active when they're streaming their tournament game. I mean, I mean, once they once you pass whatever you know. Um, qualifications or whatever they may have like a list of things or not you can't do this this whatever it may be as long as you're you, you check off all that there's no reason drop shouldn't be yeah. active in your stream yeah for sure you and it's something like, where just like we had that discord <coughs> you could ha have a section of that discord the man leo's be like all right streaming and then you can put your links in that discord so they know whether it's me you or it's, you know larry down the street they know who's streaming what games and when essentially you know and they can right. activate this something for like all that Madden streamers, though. Like, this is this is another topic I don't, I don't know if you want to get into this but like ea they have a lot of people that watch these mutt things right mutt streams mm -hmm. Like you do Madden Live, I've done a few. Um, like they, there should be some sort of application from all Madden streamers. You know, what I mean, once you get to a certain, like all Madden streamers should be able to apply for this. If you check, just like a Twitch partnership, if you check off these things, you can get this drop partnership with them, where drops can be active in your chat a couple times a week. Maybe they limit it. You could do it three streams a week or whatever. Mm -hmm. There's no reason that they can't do that. They're giving away fucking four card packs with one gold player in it yeah. you know what i mean so, yeah. get the fuck about those and then it's like th that would help out all of the all of the the streamers um and this is not to mention like some of the giveaways that they offer like okay so you streamed our game 100 hours in two weeks or 100 hours this month we're gonna give you fucking three cards to give away on your stream like why like this this is stuff that just needs i don't want to feel entitled either but i feel like we we are advertising their game for them you know what i mean like we're literally advertisers for them for sure they could they could do some shit like this because this is only going to help them they're giving away virtual cards they're not even spending no money yeah three cards that are nat they you can't even sell these shits oh so whatever you get in literally. the drops are, are nets no, no, I don't know if drops are nets, but the cards that oh, the okay, so stuff, listen, like... y'all could pick any card you want. Yeah, they're NAT. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like it doesn't hurt them. Like I don't, like I said, I don't understand why 
you know, certain stuff like this doesn't happen. I'm not no marketing expert, but I would imagine you getting you giving all these dudes more um, reasons to advertise your game and show off your game mode. I would only help you, and then you would help the streamers. So for sure, who knows, I, man? I don't know. I do feel like they've done a better job this year with Twitch. With everything, they have. Obviously. I mean, I feel they like have they're because doing they do the man in live shit. Yeah, and I feel they like the man in live. That's good. People being on, on people just being in the man directory helps everybody, honestly. Uh, but I said, I feel like the tournament time, they could do a lot more. During that week of the tournament, they could have a, a you know, an eight-hour red zone every night and really get it popping with those guys uh, commentating games and, and just letting people know about some of these smaller streamers that do stream their tournament games, man. You know, cause, Without a doubt. Because it, it is, it is, it's shitty to stream, and it's even shittier to stream a tournament game, and then you look down, and there's not that many people watching you. That's uh, And it's <clears> like, bro, why, how can I get this out? And they can help a lot of people. And just grow the community. They really could, but they're doing all right. And just, I think tournament time, the competitive side, I think, is neglected on Twitch immensely. You know, and especially during the tournament, like we saw this week. You know. Yeah. What do you, you don't think that it'll ever come a point where you have to stream your games competitively? I, I as a streamer, I wish that was the case, one million percent. You know, but uh, it's hard that to say too, that. Too tough to ask. Yes, I think it's hard to say that. Uh, I I know Skimbo is one guy that lives in Oklahoma in the middle of the woods that his internet's really not that good. But honestly, I feel like, bro, if if you're a professional gamer, you should have good enough internet to to stream. That's how I feel. You know, and uh, that's what I mean. Like, I don't, I don't. I feel like today's internet is so crazy. Like. Can't think of anyone that has bad internet, like, yeah. where you can't stream. Like the last place I lived, they're about as wor- as bad as you could get, and I, I sh- you could I could stream with three megabytes upload speed. Like I feel like anyone can, <laughs> I feel like anyone could get that speed. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know if they ever decide to do that. Yeah. Um, I think if they just like you said, remember when they were giving away the bundles or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think if they told these, you know, everyone needs stuff for last chance qualifiers still. If they told everyone before the draft chance, listen, if you guys stream your game, we'll, you know, give you these, you know, five NAT cards that they did that a while back too. Like they, they granted a few NAT yeah, cards. Yeah, any like card you wanted or something ago. during the right. Yeah, like, exactly. Pick whatever you want. We'll give you, yep. Yeah. Right, listen. I feel like people if still. They did that. They would have had yeah, definitely doubled. more they people. They would have doubled for sure. Yeah, easily. Yeah. Easily, so yeah, so yeah, they no, could they could do more, know. and I, I I do think, I think they need like a Twitch dude in the competitive side. I don't know how to say it, like to be like, kind of get them hip on you know what can get people to stream. I don't know how. Like I said three years ago, two four years ago, it was popping. They they did a lot more. I just I just don't know. But at the yeah. same time, Rob, it's like, bro, I maybe I don't want everybody streaming because I'm going to stream. So if nobody else is streaming, then that's my opportunity to eat. You know what I'm saying. So at the same time, it's it's a it's a win win for me, whether everybody streams or nobody streams. Honestly. No, you, and you should. You're in a good spot. No. I agree. So, I agree. Keep killing so, though, man. I'm shit. trying. You're doing a good job. Doing everything I can, man. Still some shit, but I'm I'm definitely some doing. shit, man. I, sh- I I tell you, this is the least I've played man offline, in my life or off stream. Yeah. I mean, like the least I have wanted to play <laughs> and. I just played Bugs for the draft champion. Like normally, I would play Bugs. Like, and you probably have somebody that you play like, all, like, all, like all the time, right? And I would play Bugs. Play blocky the most. Okay, yeah, but you know, like the last four years, me and Bugs would sit down and play eight, nine, ten, some t- times like in a row, just playing. And during this DC, like the last three days before the tournament, before the games, was like the first time I played Bugs all year. So for me, it's like this is the least I have wanted to play Madden off stream. You know, because when you play eight hours, it's like, I just want to do some other shit. I don't want to do a play Madden, honestly. And it's hurt me, honestly, as far as being on, you know, locked in and sharp, really. Yeah, no, yeah. I got you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't play as, I mean, I don't feel like I locked in as much either. Mm-hmm. Um, I think more so just even on stream, just not as much, so. Yeah. I don't know. Just the game, like I said, I've said it plenty of times. I feel like this is the worst Madden I've I've ever played, so yeah, you tripping. unfortunately, I, mean, you tripping. I wish it was you, better. You got selective memory, but that's cool. Well, Madden's better than what? 09, what Madden is 09, better than? Oh nine, oh nine, oh nine, oh nine. Okay, you're only saying one game. Yes, you're right, but you said the worst ever. <laughs> you did say the Literally worst. Literally, only saying one game. I might game. say one I do game, think it's the worst 09, ever. Oh nine, oh nine was like, the worst one. Oh nine was brutal. 
Just imagine. Have, listen, imagine okay, well, give me right give now. me one argument. Give me one argument. Curl, I'm gonna say one curl, thing too. Curl, rockets, curls, curls, fullback dive, curls. Uh, come on. Dude. Okay. Okay. Sixty five overall quarterback by choice. I mean, that's, by choice. That is kind of fucking brutal. By fucking choice. It is brutal. Fuck but I think uh, curls. Is, I think curls is worse. I mean, yeah, the, t- the quarterback that can't throw the ball is pretty fucking put them, nuts. Put a 65 overall quarterback and throw them curls. But they just think about, no, think about, what if they had Mutt in 09? <laughs> Yo, if they had Mutt in 09, like, bro, like, like, everybody would have three Martellus Bennett's, or they had, like, Bennett, <laughs> like, they had Bennett, like, Moss, and, and T.O., and then they had Wit, like, bro, it would be disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah. Bro. Would they have a quarterback? Might not, maybe not. They might run just fullback dive and toss. <laughs> Shit, fullback dive toss was lethal. <laughs> well, they yeah, came well. out in like spike. It was like quarterback kneel and audible <clears throat> the fullback dive, so you could not shoot that bitch. You were getting three yards. No, I, don't, I don't know. It was it was bad. Yeah. But, I mean, is that yeah? The no far quarterback is kind of brutal. Are they one A one B? Can we can we at least say that one A one B? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't have any bad memories from Madden's, like in. Outside of the MCS, other than 09. I feel like every other game was like, it, it had awesome some positives. Too. Like, 09 was the only one I was like, all right, that's some trash. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, so yeah, for me, for sure. yeah, I, yeah. 09 was definitely ass. Yeah, when you look back and see the two belts have been won with people with no desire to pass the ball. Like, literally just, you know what I mean? Like, no desire to pass the ball. Like, and just no thought. Like, if they had to pass, it was over. And if it was like that, it's like, uh, that's kind of rough, really. Especially with the with, without a quarterback at all. Like that's kind of fucking. That is. I mean, that's yeah. a, that's a tough argument yeah, to t- fight. Really, it's, it really just goes down to like the mechanics of the game. Like, maybe if run, that run commit was in the game at that. Like the run commit is a little bit better now. Them dudes, when you run commit down, they do be shooting and shit. Yeah, but like he, well, he could have fixed that though. He could have just went and had it like a you know like a base gold quarterback and an eighty five speed receiver. Or some would have at, le- at least made him think yeah. about passing. Yeah. Yeah. There was third and twelve, but, and there was no. Third. What, what was good it about was, it? It was one person that did that, you know. And when we think about how bad it looked, it wasn't like if everybody was doing this shit. Like at some point when it was like seven fifty cap or eight fifty cap on uh, the Friday night footballs, everybody was just running, just running. But the fact there was only yeah. one person in the thirty two that played like that, um, <clears throat> I mean, you got to kind of give some type of credit, like bro, that's that's smart, like. He he executed. I thought there was no chance somebody without a quarterback would win that tournament. I thought there was no chance that could happen. Um, I feel like yeah, maybe selling out with no quarterback, but still the same play style has been is. is oh yeah, though. It kinda. Yeah. I mean, I don't think. It, I think I, when you look at that that club championship tournament, I felt like it was the most vast scheme wise since Madden Seventeen. Really, I feel like it was a bunch of different shit people were running. You know, from everybody. You know, it was a bunch of different quarterbacks. Sure you're about? Yeah, the club, the last club series tournament, the final thirty-two. I felt like it was just so it was so vast in different schemes and offenses and defenses. Really, more than any other Madden since seventeen. Really, even probably more than seventeen. You know, it just happened to dude with no quarterback won. It was kind of nuts, but it was a bunch of different schemes. Really, from everybody. Was, I think. I mean, when you say different schemes offensively, when it's when you're talking about the run. I don't. I mean, the formations damn near don't even. They matter, but it's not even the the. the for, it's not the formations that matter. It's just the run defense is so ass. So you can run all these different forms. Yeah, for sure. And that, that's what as I said like, earlier in the year. Run. It was like the the run making it good. <clears throat> the run being good makes a lot of formations viable. Really, it really does. Mm-hmm. Like it makes everything. If you can run a stretch, it, it's pretty much give me one little pass player and a dive too. It's pretty much much tough. Really. Uh, and uh, that's all good, but I, I do think it was a bunch of different, a bunch of different schemes, really. But it does come back to the run being good. You know, but yeah. I, oh well. What yeah, I definitely do? still think it's you know that it definitely needs to be toned down next year. But we'll see. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah, I think. I, I, listen, just I, I'm, I'm to the point where I'm ready to just take the game that they have and just tone it up a little bit. You know, I, I, I'm. I, they change. They change the whole game again. Who knows what happens? You know. Yeah, we'll see. All right, man. I appreciate you. Appreciate you coming by. All right, dude. Talking to the people, yeah. man. Always good to hear from you, brother. No doubt, bro. Appreciate you having me. All, All right, right bro. My guy. There he is, man. Problem right, the goat. Hopping on the stream. Appreciate it. Talking about sub streams and Madden in general, man. And for me personally, I I I'm very passionate about the sub streams. I really am. I feel like. I feel like sometimes when we get 
we're we are in this this community so much and we're so uh, so submersed in the uh in the Madden community and being able to play Madden that uh we forget how good we are at Madden and how valuable you know our skill set is in Madden R regardless whether you're washed up like me or you're you know some guy that's just coming up and has never streamed before or if you're one of the best players in the world you are still Essentially, you are still one of the top hundred. If you're in that tournament, you're still one of the top hundred players in the world. You know, and we have to put some type of value to that. And I really think uh, if if you love competitive man, if it's something you like, I'm um, paying five dollars to watch some of the best players in the world play huge money games. It's something that's that's worth it. You know, I really do. And I feel like we should all value our gameplay and our skill set that much. You know what I'm saying, chat? And that's how I feel about it. Uh, that's how, um, that's pretty much how I'm always going to feel about it. You know, we stream Madden all year for free for people to just see everything that we do, all our reads, all our thought process, all our, every way we play Madden, we watch, we just stream this for everybody for free all year. So for eight games a year, 10 games a year, I mean, if you can't pay $5 to watch us try to execute it at the highest level, I mean, do you really support competitive Madden, you know? That's all. Jenny wants to play All Star Team up, bro. All right, chat. Another thing. Speaking of Jenny in the chat, and, and I, I want I want your guys' opinion on. I'm gonna ask Twitter later in the week, right? If you guys know, if you guys know, um, I was at the last Madden Club Championship as a guest. And for somebody that has been at the pinnacle of Madden many years ago and has been to many of these events as a player and as a competitor and as somebody winning money, it was tough to go to the tournament as a guest. It was tough. It was tough. It's kind of like, bro, it's kind of like, I don't know who to compare myself to. I mean, like, I maybe, I, I just don't know, but for me it's like, it was tough to go as a guest. It was tough to have the little credential that said guest. It was tough. But I had fun. Had a great time. My Bugs was there. User was there. Skimbo was there. Radiant was there. We had a good time. You know what I'm saying? Now, Drenny, Bugs, Taylor Gang, they're trying to get me to go to this event for a second time. You know what I'm saying? I might be Sidney Jones, man. I... I might, I could be Dirk. I could be Dirk. Can I be Dirk? So for me to go, and they're trying to get me to go rush. You feel me? They're trying to get go come out to the event again. For me to go to another event as the guest is a little crazy. Now, honestly, I kind of want to go because my friends are going to be there. I get to see Bugs win a belt. Clef going to win a belt. Trey might win. Trey not going to win a belt, but he's going to be there. And then here goes the worst part. Des, here goes the worst part, Des. Listen. Drenny's like, yeah, I'm going to be out there. So Drenny tells me this. And witness, this was crazy. Drenny tells me this. Drenny's like, yeah, I'm going out. So for me, I'm like, damn, Drenny, oh, you going out? Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Then I thought about it. I said, hold up. You commentating, are you? He like, yeah, you know, I'm not paying to go out, but I'm going to be out there. So it was like, for me, it's like, bro, what? How you going to ask me to spend my money when you not? Like, then then he says this. And this year, Drenny says, oh, oh, I would have went out there anyway. And honestly, you know who they're trying to turn me into? And I told them, I don't want to become Rage. Rage is at all these tournaments, and he's not the one that, that plays. I think he's actually in this one, isn't he? But he's been at all the tournaments, and he's never, like, the one that plays. And they're trying to turn me into him. And if I ever become Rage, I'm quitting. I am out. See me later. I'm done. M. Dot, I don't know how to get a commentating spot. I am not on the list. It was called the list of approved player talent or something. The list of appro approved player talent. Honestly, I don't think I'll ever be on that list. Uh, I don't know. I really don't. I, I, I don't know. I feel like I would excel at all talking aspects of, you know, Madden and things like that. But, you know, I, I'm really not uh, their speed and, and somebody they want up there. So that's cool. And the people that do do it between Mo and they said Drenny on this year, user is going to be there too. So they're going to do an excellent job and they're going to hold it down, honestly. 
Uh, but for me, um, uh, so it is tough to go back out there as a guest again. I'm saying. So and Journey get and then then Journey says we're playing football. You know what I'm saying? We said we're playing football. So for me, I'm not the new and improved rage. See, that just made me mad. So for me, I kind of want to go out there and do the football round. Ghost is going to be there. Drenny, Trey, Bugs, User, the whole, whole gang is out there. Clef, gang is going to be out there. You know what I'm saying? So for me, um, it's definitely a, I, I want to say it's an option. I want to say it's an option. So we'll see. I started yesterday at like 20%. I think I creeped up to like 60, 65% chat. Now I'm, I'm asking you guys, I mean, I think I should go. Something like that. So so for me, I really don't I gotta make a decision in the next couple of weeks and everything. Wesley and little man. We can have a Wesley little man gauntlet. I mean, it's like, and then I don't want to turn it into it's hard to go there and turn it into like a, a show. It's just a weird, like, those dudes are there to win 30 grand in a belt. You know, for me to be there and be like, I see k Max going to be, I feel like it's a good group of 16 people. But it's hard to go there and be like, I don't know. These dudes are trying to play, then I'm going to be like, let's do the Wesley versus Little Man Gauntlet. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be tough to do that. I can definitely bring a camera, but it's like, then I don't want to be that nerd. Like, like Des, when I walk around with a camera, I feel like ScoMo. Like, oh, yeah, let's take, come on, guys, say hi to the vlog. Like, bro, I just feel like a douchebag, bro. Like, the biggest douchebag in the world. Like, I'm always a person, honestly, like, when I go out, like, I'm not the on the phone, take it, put it on Snapchat type of person. I'm never that person. I feel like the people around you, like, those are the people, and you're going to have a good time, and you're going to remember it, and you could tell stories about it later, honestly. And I feel like I'm not the biggest. Now, honestly, if we play sports, we're putting that shit on camera. Yeah, that's for sure. If we play sports, uh, uh, trust me, we're going on camera. One million percent. One million percent. We're going live. We're recording shit. I'm bringing the cannon. Everything's going down, honestly, uh, for me. So, but but um, I do think... um. I don't like being a guy with just a camera around his neck. I feel like that's I feel like that's the corniest thing in the world. Yeah, I'm not I'm, yeah, I'm not running Trey. I'm I'll throw the football around. I'll I'll be the quarterback. Me and me and Ghost can be quarterback. Yeah, Wesley little man going to be on camera, bro. Nah, for real. Like I yeah, exactly. And this shit, nobody likes the guy recording everything. Because then you never know, man. You might be hugged up on a little uh, something sweet with soft skin and shit. And then you get caught up. Boom. That's the reason Skimbo don't go out no more. You know what I'm saying? Skimbo ain't go out in two years, bro. KD, your ass is not no center, KD. You are like 5'8", bro. KD, I would ball you up so crazy. Oh, you talking about in football? Oh, I, I'd bull rush you too, KD. KD, I'd grip you up by the collarbones. You would get collarbone lifted up. Move, bro. Dead ass. But anyway, we are ready for the... Uh, let's talk about the groups. Yeah, KD, I would lift your little ass up, KD. So crazy. These are the groups. My man Bobby V posted the groups. Oh, that is uh, Ray Lewis. I said my man Bobby V posted the uh the group. So if you don't follow my man Bobby, make sure you get that done. Oh, we still got window captures all over the place right now. Boom. These are the groups right here. All right. Now I'll be real. There is one group in here that's super tough. There is one group that's super tough. My bad. I'm just trying to fix my OBS right now. There it is. Okay. Boom. Madden Challenge, line, final 16. Clef, VA Dimes, Henry, and Rage. That's a tough group. 
Obviously, I like Clef to get up out of that joint. You know I'm saying he gonna get up out of there. No big deal. Now I believe we are still, we are still to the point where uh, three people make it out of groups. One person gets a buy. I believe that is still the, uh, still the, um, it is still the format. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that is three people get out. One person is out of there, and one person has a buy. VA Dimes, I don't know, VA, hey, ask Journey about the Dimes, bro, ask Journey about VA Dimes, Rage is so damn ass, bro, I, yo, I cannot believe I lost a game to Rage, Bobby V is a truck driver, he's not a truck, he's a bus driver, bro, or, like, that, he's a bus driver, Group B, we got Joke, Bugs, Crush, Little Man, this is actually kind of tough, this is actually kind of a tough group, I like Bugs to pop. Joke, I mean, Joke honestly is playing, uh, uh, Joke is actually, I mean, Joke has been one of the best this year, uh, and I really think uh, maybe this is his tournament, honestly. As much as he bitches, and I hope Joke is in here, right? I hope as much as he bitches and cries every fucking day, bro, like Joke, yo, you, Joke, I said it, I said it on the, on the, uh, on the stream yesterday, bro. Joke has no fun. Bro, there he has no fun. Joke literally has no fun. Bugs versus Little Man, must watch TV. For me, Little Man versus anybody is must watch. We also get a rematch of Joke versus Crush. Bro, Joke versus Crush. Remember the remember from last year the leg cross game? Remember that? We get a rematch of that. That's gonna be fun to watch. Uh then we go to group C. Um I don't know these dudes at all. Who is PK? Peacekeeper? Peacekeeper from uh Peacekeeper from Apex. Oh, Deliverance. Okay, 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 okay. So we get the rematch of Trey versus uh, Deliverance. Noah, I don't know Noah. This is first event. I'm assuming this is my man Noah that be in the chat. I don't know these dudes. I, I don't know Noah, and I don't know JD. Like, who is JD? I don't know these dudes. Do y'all know? Like, seriously. I'm trying to learn. Peacekeeper. Bro, this is one thing I've always fucking hated. With my passion, bro. With my passion. It's one of the reasons I was like, I will never, ever, 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 ever. I One of the biggest things that made me, made me never want to, like, sign with another org or anything like that. It just made me like, because I would be absolutely sick if someone ever put fucking PK instead of my name. I would be absolutely sick. You work so hard for your name. What what, what did Frank Lucas say, chat? That's a brand name. I guarantee it. That's Frank Lucas, that Blue Magic. He worked so hard to make that name ring bells. And they got the nerve to just put fucking PK right there. Oh my god, I'd be hot. And then we got JD. I don't know who JD is. Uh, like I said, Noah, uh, I, I, this is his first event. JD, I'm assuming this is his first event. I really don't know. And Trey, Trey is playing really good. Uh, he made it, he's ready to go. Stop it, Hancho. Hancho, you want to rumble, bro? We could rumble right now, Hancho Dean. Hancho, didn't I time you out for 10 minutes and now you're back? And honestly, as I look down, Group D is probably one of the best groups we have seen pretty much ever. Now, this is K-Mac's first um, live event uh, outside of Club Series. You know, guys, guys know how I feel about Club Series, really. Um, but uh, K-Mac, this is his first, like, Final 16. This is the furthest he's been in a tournament. So, um, and against guys that, I, between Ghost and Kiv, have super experience. Wesley has super experience, really, so... K-Mac, honestly, as much as, I mean, we all know K-Mac and, and Rufa K-Mac, but he, 1 million percent, is the underdog in this group group of guys, really. And, and for me, and shit, he got a rough draw, really, to be your first live and, and get Kiv, Wesley, and Ghost. That's tough, man. So that's that's a great group. I, I can't wait to watch that group play, man. I really can't. And and this this is when DC comes down to, okay, what book does Ghost get? What book does Kiv get? What book does K-Mac get? Because I know K-Mac has split close in the uh online part so it's hard to get split close so we'll see what he cooks up if he gets something else i really think uh 
I really think um I think I think K Mac has a lot of pressure. I think for somebody that is I, I, I feel like these dudes here, right? I, I feel like we overrate the pressure that they had. Like, bro, like we talk about like ghosts and kid like bro, like they don't have to go pop a stream on the next day and hear people and worry about like all the people that support them. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's be honest, bro. Ghost is my friend, bro. It, how many ghost fans are walking out there in the earth? You know what I'm saying? So named? It's like three ghost fans in the world. His family might not even root for him. You know what I'm saying? His brother probably be like, I'm tired of this ghost shit. You know what I'm saying? K-Mac probably, K-Mac got a thousand subs. He got a way bigger following. Not, a, not I want to say a following, but like fans, essentially. More people like really, really rooting for him, you know? And Wes, Wesley has no fans, bro. There is not, there is not a person that wakes up chatting and says, you know what? I can't wait to watch Wesley play today. Or I can't wait for Wesley to win. I'm going to root like shit for Wesley to win. I, there, there's not a person. There's not a person. I want to find one motherfucking person. Now, Kiv, Kiv has been around a long time. He's a character. He's a exceptional player. Exceptional. Kiv has fans. But Wesley, bro, honestly, my man Noah has more fans than Wesley. Like, what? Ain't nobody rooting for my man Wes, bro. I might be, honestly, Wesley. I might be the biggest Wesley fan. Now that I really think about it, I might honestly be the biggest Wesley fan on earth. And that's sad, because I'm not a Wesley fan. <laughs> Bro, but I, I feel like I still am the biggest Wesley fan, if that makes any sense. Yeah, like, I, I feel like I root for the kid. Like, it's my guy. That's my friend, but, like... Bro, ain't no Wesley fans. I, don't, I, I really don't think it's joke fans, bro. I really don't think how a human can root for joke, bro. I used to never root for joke. Now, me and joke, I become much closer. You know what I'm saying that's my, that's one of my friends. Joke is my guy. I, I don't want to say I root for joke now, but I don't root against them. I don't. Bugs, Bugs has a psycho following, bro. Bugs might be. I mean, but now nah, Bugs is probably top five in most fans here. I cheered for Joke. He complained at my volume. <laughs> no, Joke is definitely uh, Joke is definitely a character, bro. For real, he's definitely positive. What I'm saying, like, I I definitely don't um definitely don't root against Joke anymore at all. Really, like, I need him to win one of these tournaments so he can shut the hell up. But really, so you think about Bugs. Bugs has the gut fox. You know what I'm saying he got the not the old heads. He got the you know the people that don't get out the house too much. Like if you're a Bugs fan, like yo, you really don't get out the house that much, which is cool because there's a lot of people that don't get out of the house. You know what I'm saying, and that's that, that's all all well and good. Yeah, all the non-protein dietitians, shit like that. You know what I'm saying those type of people. I don't know. I don't know who. I don't know who has more fans, Deliverance or Taylor Gang. I think I gotta go Deliverance, bro. I think I. I feel like the Steeler Nation kind of mess with PK. I'm done. Yo, his name is PK now. I'm done. We will never use the word Deliverance again. He is PK. Yeah, Buster Harley. Look, Buster, the biggest Bugs fan, bro. Buster, get Buster as you're in the chat right now, my man Buster. Give me a percentage of. Bugs winning this tournament, Buster. Give me the percentage. Give me the percentage. What do you think? Yeah, he's PK from, from now on. That's him, bro. He's just PK. 17% Bugs wins. I think Bugs has a shot, chat. 73, Tootie. 25%? Tootie, 73 is fucking wild. Huh? Yo, I know Hunter ain't lying. <laughs> Boys ain't lying. Yo, the stay-at-home moms, bro. The vegan stay-at-home moms is pretty nuts. Buster went seventy-five percent. Taylor point zero one. Well, I'll be honest. If we see this right now, plus twelve hundred, Donnie. That's I mean that's that plus twelve hundred. I might put a dub on plus twelve hundred. That's that's pretty high for for the boys, man. Y'all want to set the odds for everybody? 
Let's set the odds on winning the whole tournament. Uh, let's set the odds, chat. Set the odds on winning the whole tournament. And we can play some bets, too. Pace. There we go. This is the tournament right here, boys. Let's set the odds. I need you guys' help on setting the odds. And like I said, YouTube, you guys can be a part of this stream, too. We do this on Tuesday nights. This is the Tuesday night. Boom. There it is. This Tuesday night subs or uh, subs in the chat. You can join in a sub, twitch.tv slash dub dot. Also, like I said, you can be in here Tuesday nights. We do this probably uh, 7 p.m. every Tuesday. Boom. Here we go. Setting the odds. The odds for Clef to win this tournament are. Let's put this right here. Red typing. Plus 500? Minus? No, he's not a favorite. Uh, Clef plus five. Okay, Clef. Okay. I think plus, plus 150 a little crazy, Chet. Why the fuck are we not typing right now? What's going on? Why, why is my font still white? Plus 150 for Clef? I, I think that's I think that's high. I think that's high right there, boys. What you got? I think that's high. I think that's high. I, I'm, I'm or I think it's low. I think we're gonna go 400 right there. I think 400. What's next? Okay, let's go over here. Boom. VA Dimes to win the tournament, bro. VA Dimes to win the entire tournament. VA Dimes to win the entire tournament, chat. Give me VA Dimes right now, chat. Why the fuck can't I type? Boom, 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 boom. I'm thinking, chat. I'm thinking... Nineteen hundred, bro. Y'all, I think y'all kind of like, y'all kind of really. Uh, Nineteen hundred, I think, is too high. <laughs> He'd be two-time MCS finalist. <laughs> they don't try and get this this font shit right. All right, VA dimes. Let's go with the dimes, man. What are we gonna put the dimes, man? At I think we go plus. Ah. Uh, I go three thousand, bro. I'm going three thousand on VA dimes, bro. I'm going three thousand on VA. I gotta be real. First live event, bro. I've never even watched them play. I'm going plus three thousand. Henry, give me a number, chat. I think Henry, we looking at about plus plus five hundred. I put plus five hundred. I'm not putting Henry over Clef. I'm not putting Henry over Clef. Plus 500. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at with Henrock. That's where I'm at. I feel like that's good. Rage. $3,900. No, Rage ain't winning, bro. Group B, we go to Joke. I think Joke. I think Joke is... I will tell you Joke is probably my favorite favorite so by this i'm going to go i'm going plus 250 for joke yeah yeah that's how i feel more and that's how i feel joke plus 250 that's how i feel on joke bugs is around clef type of speed i think i don't know if i had bugs over clef but i'll go plus let's go plus 450 on bugs I'm saying I'm 450 on books. I'm saying crush. 
put crush. I'm gonna go crush. I'm gonna go crush around 800. Yeah, because y'all see, that's exactly what I was thinking. Crush 800. I would crush, crush a good player. He's a good player. Not that much experience outside of club series. You know what I'm saying? But he got, you know what I'm saying? He's in a tough group, but I'll go 800. Little man winning the tournament. Little man. I feel like if I put crush at 800, I got to put little man at 700. Yes, I like Buzz over Henry. 50, I, know, I feel like I got to put little man over crush. Crash was in D.C. last year? Yeah, I don't really remember. I'll be forgetting. Yeah, I feel like Lil' Man is plus 750. 750. I feel like... I feel like more... What the fuck that just happened? I don't know what I just did. I feel like... I'm going to be real. I feel like I'm not putting people high enough, bro. Because I feel like I disrespected my man VA Dimes, bro. The fat Crush is plus 800 and VA Dimes is plus 3,000, bro. I feel like I disrespected him, bro. I feel like I gotta make some changes, bro. I feel like we gotta go there. We gotta change that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's all. You know what I'm saying. But yeah, I, I just off. I gotta put. I gotta put. I gotta put. I'm not gonna change Rage at all. He, he's still 3900. <laughs> I gotta put a little man at plus seven seven fifty. You know what I'm saying? Noah, Jesus Christ, this is bro. Noah is um by my man Noah, bro. You gotta be plus to win the whole tournament, bro. You gotta be plus twenty five hundred. Gotta be plus twenty five hundred. Gotta be. I PK PK is a fighter, bro. PK bro PK is like plus eleven hundred. Nah, 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 that's too, that's too high. That's plus 900, plus plus nine. Yeah, more. we on the right, we on the right track. We on the right track. PK's a fight. JD the killer. Oh, JD gotta be, I mean, he, he gotta be the same as my man, uh, as my man, um, Noah. They got, that's, that's like, yo, the 2,500 is the, I never heard of you, this your first event number, bro. Taylor Gang. I mean, I'm, he he probably had like plus eighteen hundred. That's I mean, it's a good number. You know what I'm saying? He not three thousand. You know what I'm saying? Now Group D gets a little spicy. Now Chad, help me out. I need y'all help. Ghost, damn, Ghost gotta be a Ghost gotta be like a cleft number. Ghost got. I feel like Ghost got to be like three fifty. I feel like that's a good number for Ghost. Wesley, I feel like Wesley's on that like plus six hundred. I feel like five. Man, I feel like five fifty on Wesley. Go five fifty on Wesley. Kiv, I think Kiv is a jokes number though. I think you gotta put Kiv at 250, just like Joke. That's how I feel. K Mac, I feel like he can't be as high as these guys. I think he could be around Little Man. I think K Mac, I'm gonna go plus close to Little Man. Plus, uh, I'm, in this group, I feel like the thing about being in a K Mac, not 400. Come on, bro. The thing about being in this group is that is that yeah I think I think K Mac we can go eight I think eight hundred yeah I think eight hundred I I I I mean nah I maybe mean seven nah I'm just looking at little man crush it's like uh I'll be honest with you chat I was disappointed in uh, I'm gonna go seven. I was disappointed in K Max run defense badly. Like every tournament, <laughs> like bro, <laughs> I don't know. And the worst part about K Max run defense, bro, bro, he played with Oreos sweaty ass that runs all the time, bro. 
No, honestly, the group helps because what the thing about the group that you don't understand, three of these people make it out. And if you make it out of the group, you're probably not going to play one of these guys until further down the line. So if Kiv and Wesley make it out, they're probably not going to play each other again until the Final Four or something like that. So essentially, like, the group really doesn't... The, being in a tough group almost makes it easier to win the whole tournament, if that makes sense. No, I think k Mac's defense could run defense, especially even against problem. I feel like I feel like if k Mac had better run defense, uh, that game was wasn't even close, honestly. Casey, you think so, Casey? Yeah, that's tough. God damn it. Boom, boom, boom. Y'all think my eyes is cool? Eyes is cool? I think the eyes is cool right here. I think the odds is cool, chat. X Factor, bro. I don't know if that day is ever going to happen, bro. Y'all know I really can't talk about racial issues and things like that, but I don't know if that day ever happens. Let's tweet this out. See what see what the people got here, chat. Let's see what the people got. Who you guys think they're going to bet on here? Boom, home. Yeah, Clef will get one eventually. Bro, honestly, I hope one day, honestly, like, I know, like, the last couple years ain't been the best for me, but I do, uh, I wish me and EA could work better together, man. Probably never going to happen. Probably never going to happen, but... I feel like I feel like I bring a lot to the table. Like, why the fuck is this still not like? Some of my media failed to upload. What? Why the fuck? Witness, get the fuck out of here. I don't know why my little media not uploading. Let me see if I can save this different. Maybe this file's too big. I don't know. Let me just do this. Witness, I swear to God, bro. I'm fighting witness on site, bro. I mean, bro, I'd be hella commentating. Hey, 
There y'all go, man. Put your little whoever y'all betting on underneath that post right there. Boom, we get a pop. We're going to talk a lot more about this next week on the podcast, man. You know what I'm saying? Donnie, how many appearances I got, bro? I think I got seven or six. Yeah, I think I got six. I'm ass, bro. I'm ass. But, man, I'm glad Problem came out and talked about the subs. The sub stuff really is like, I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about that, honestly. I really am. I feel like we can help grow by knowing our worth, honestly. And I, I, I know my worth. I know I know how to grow grow this thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to do it my way. And I feel like we all get on board, man. It's going to be popping. And it's definitely super, super duper popping. Journey is ass, bro. Anyway. And I do feel like uh, everybody should be sub-only stream. Every single person. If you stream a 5,000 game of Madden... People should have to pay to watch it. And honestly, if you don't want to pay to watch it, I mean, that's okay. Maybe you don't want to watch it that bad. And that's cool, you know. There's nothing wrong with that. But but, but there's no downside. There's no negative in somebody believing their Madden game is worth $5 to watch. There's no, there's no downside in that, you know. Because I feel like it is. I feel like anybody at that position, anybody that's good enough to be in that tournament and decides to stream, it should be worth $5. I do. I'm not even going to tell you guys that I would pay everybody $5. I probably wouldn't. No, you're right. There's people I don't want to watch. There's people I want to watch. Uh, for me, and um, honestly, uh, Clef, you a club series only type. You one of them, bro. Club series only. People can't get it done in the real games, bro. This Clef first, Clef, this is your first real live event, bro. I'm proud of you, man. Hey, Sad Mert, tell him, bro. He a Club Series guy, bro. I'm the opposite, bro. I, I can't even, uh... Daz, y'all be killing me. You get it. Don't bother Clef. Boo, 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 boo. Uh, JD, that's what I did at first. I went one for one. I believe it. I already know Clef gonna pop shit. Bro, it's not... Why y'all got to make it a black and white thing, Jesse? That's what I'm saying. But I support Clef the most, bro. You know what I'm saying? Why Why it's got to be... Why y'all got to be, be, beat the white guys? You know what I'm saying? Nuts. Now, is he, now y'all making me like I'm... But y'all making me feel like I'm wrong for supporting Clef, bro. You know what I'm saying? I might be the bookie, bro. I might be the bookie for the whole thing, bro. If y'all retweet that tweet... No, nah, Jesse, no, I'm not. You already know I'm not. Just for you, just for the couple hundred that actually watch me and talk to me. That's all. Clef got four events. Y'all giving events for everything now, bro, huh? Jesus. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Sad, Paul. Paul, so you feel me? A squads tournament, and the uh, I don't know what men should do, bro. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter too much what I think men should do, but you know the vibes. I will do my best, honestly. Oh, what what counts as making an event in the classic, Donnie? The top sixty four. Please make it the top sixteen, bro. If you say the top thirty two or some shit, making an event in the classic. Fucking joke, bro. I made mean, back in my day. I'm like the old head now. I'm the old head that walked to school uphill twice every day. Both ways uphill in the snow. That's me. Back in my day, only eight people made the live event. That was my day, and I made two of them fuckers. 
You know what I'm saying? So for the, I made two eight people eight people live events. You know what I'm saying? Back in my day, when good was good and elite was elite, you had to grind. You know, there was nothing handed out for these kids. Making a, a, a you know, one club's final four is a live event. Nothing was handed out. Everything was taken. You guys really turned me into the old head on the porch, yelling at all the kids playing on, on the street, bro. That's what y'all turned me into. You know what I'm saying? Bro, they cheated the shit out of Clef last year, bro. They, che they cheated Clef this year. Bro, first of all, Donnie, we came from the eight-man final. The eight-man finals, I should get two live events for making the eight-man finals. You know what I'm saying? Real John Madden football. No, Clef is in my like my group of people I think is really good at Madden. You know what I'm saying? John Madden football. Real John Madden football. But this was the Needed Podcast episode 64. I don't really have shit else to talk about. Had fun. Hope you guys enjoyed my breakdown of my interception I threw. Hope you guys enjoyed talking about substance, bro. I'm super passionate about that, bro. I really do. It's important for me to... Uh, DreamHack does not count as a live event. Jesus Christ. Uh, for me, um, I am passionate about what Madden content is worth and what our content is worth as elite players. So I feel like everybody should have... I feel like if everybody has the same view, man, we can grow and we can make more money, you know? That's all. Donnie, bro, I'm going to ask you, do I come out to this to this draft champions event bro let me know let me know donnie they're trying to get me to go out who's my top five man players to watch this year volt uh i don't know volt volterax no but a sneaky fair honestly i do like i said wesley has no uh Wesley really has no um, fans, but I think he's a sneaky underdog in this in this tournament. I think Wesley Wesley could make a Final Four Finals type of vibe. Honestly, that's how I feel. I do like watching Volt. Volt, uh, listen. But I, I honestly can't wait to watch it. Really, so we'll see. But this was the Needed Podcast episode 64. I appreciate you guys coming through, man. I do like putting the, the, the chat on sub only. That way you guys, you know, only my subs can be seen, can be talked to, can be heard, can be part of the show, honestly. Um, we're going to do more predictions next week. We have another week to talk about this club series. Or not this club series. I keep saying that. This DC tournament. So it's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be fun. Um, but I appreciate y'all coming through. So if you want to check these out live, twitch.tv slash dub dot. I'm going to do my best tomorrow to break down the um, the podcast into maybe, you know, 10-minute sections. ten Because it's tough for people to watch it out, two hours. I felt like this this podcast had a lot of content, though. You know what I'm saying? Not the, no, not the, uh, not the whole view. Just people that could type in the chat, honestly. Just so y'all could type in the chat. Um, I felt like this, this two hours had a lot of content, really. Majestic, I wish, bro. Yeah, I feel like this had a lot of content, really. But, you know, we'll see. I'm going to try to break it down, make it a little bit shorter for people to uh, to watch it on YouTube and, like, maybe a 20-minute video, something like that. But I appreciate you guys coming by. This was the Needle Podcast episode 64.